This video is about whether or not you could complete Fallout 4 without attacking people and only Almost using robots okay. you find. And this does Almost include sense. So the possible things they can use are robot companions such as Kiri or Codsworth, or if you have to deal with so one of them, one of those characters, or synthetic companions such as Paladin Dance and or Nick Valentine. Or possible uh, alternative robots you find in hack, which requires you to be level 44 to give commands, level 19 to attack, and just any level to shut them off as long as you're at level 10. Intelligence, which I chose. I grabbed my fault suit into the decontamin quote, decontamination chamber, and went in for a deep sleep. Then I got forward out for a while to uh, witness my wife get murdered. As you're about to see. We're trying to steal the baby, but not a little lad. Then some bold, almost bold fuck uses 44. I wonder what he meant by that. Then I got fought out yet again, but this time to leave the vault. Which I promptly did using the world's greatest patterned strategy. At least I think it's a strategy. I got out without attacking by closing round roaches behind doors. Giant roaches. After getting a pit boy, I went back to the elevator, rode it back up to the surface, and then I had m to meet Codsworth. I did his quest in clearing out Sanctuary to find my family, in which I got him to kill the enemies as I wasn't allowed to. And this does count to the charge as Codsworth is a robot and Mr. Handy. Went to Concord to meet the Minutemen. I sprinted inside, ignoring all the rays outside, which ended up being a waste of time anywho as I had later realized it was a problem. I needed to kill all the raiders who were there first, which I could not. Went to Paladin Dance and let him kill all the ghouls in Cambridge Police Station. As I was not allowed to, and Paladin Dance is as he is a synth. Also, he's not my companion yet, so this wouldn't count either way. Had to torture him and a whole bunch of sins. Still not sure if this would count. I mean, the thing I used was a machine, so... Who you knows, maybe stretching it. But that paladin fucker didn't die because of his power armor. Shame. Afterwards, which I wanted to go and get Nick Valentine by running those over Triggerman. Which was an absolute blast. 
made the right to take Valentine while scooping up one and made him kill him and shoot myself from the violence. When the Kellogg's house couldn't lock pick it, so I had to go and steal the mayor's key for it. Don't know why he had it, but he did. Perhaps he too wasn't sent from the Institute. He was, you'll find out later. Not in that stock. Made it to Fort Hagen, go to Nick Valentine, kill Kellogg, the fat man. As I can do it, who did the challenge? Made it to the memory lounge to go and read Kellogg's memories, which was great until afterwards when Nick Valentine sat on like Kellogg. Oh, was that a doozy? Made Virgil made a promise of him that if I was to go to the Institute, I would get the serum, and in return, he would help me get there. Met the railroad, he had a course of chip decoded. Then met Fowler afterwards, I made that teleporter thingy. Wanted to go rebuild Liberty Prime, but in order to do so, we had to get some Mark 28 nuclear bombs, which are normally the drop from bomber plane. But while there, we encountered two death claws after taking a vertebrate flight. Here's one of the death claws, because something notable happened in the background. Random laser rifles. I was wondering, what the fuck? I pull out my pistol, turn on vets, and look who it is. Scribe Halen. Now she followed me here after I took a vertebrate flight over to the crater and then to Vigil's cave to walk over to the Sentinel site. I don't know. But she didn't. Why? I don't know. I have never seen this before. I honestly have no idea why this occurred. I am still baffled by this. Cat's Edge didn't follow me to the no site because Paladins could have had more help. Speaking of which, Paladins killed all the ghouls for me in the no site. Made to the Old North Church where I then found out Nick Veldine or anyone else cannot kill them. I had to. Whilst ruining the challenge. It was a real shame because I gave him nuclear grenades which he threw at them and would not kill them. It only injured them. And also, when I went to shot Deacon, something odd had happened. Yeah, he just fucking vanished. I uh, don't know why. I want to go and check in the other court to make sure they're still dead, which he was. I probably went down to see him afterwards. And upon doing so, I found Deacon. I went to go get the Brilliant thingy, can't pronounce it. For my jet systems, oh no, it wasn't that. I forgot what it was. That doesn't matter, detail is important. I promptly left off too much since showed up. It stayed for a while to walk. But then when I'd realized there were more coming, I decided, you know what? Fuck that, I couldn't be bothered. Here it is, they spawn it, I realize it went hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't be here. And then I left. I think they all died. It still the thing to Liberty Prime and had them reactivated. It was great. I don't know why, but for some reason, I tried to get Nick Valentine to turn on the button just so I could be on that platform. Yeah. He could not. I was really disappointed. Go there. So yeah, that occurred. After realizing Nick Valentine couldn't do it, I had to do it myself, and I pressed the big button and activated Liberty Prime. After activating Liberty Prime, we marched over to the eye of the CIT ruins and dug down to find the Institute. Liberty Prime then threw a nuke after lasering the floor for a while. And then Nick Valentine appeared from the ground. I don't know why, but yeah. Later, met Father again, Father, and he was dying. I told him my plans and destroyed the Institute just because I wanted to watch it burn. 
Too many innocent children down there, I see. We needed to kill them all. Also, after realizing they had FEV the first time I played this game, I just instantly go for killing the institute no matter what. I probably could have skipped the whole entire railroad shenanigans if I just sided with someone else, so I wouldn't have to kill them. Perhaps when I sided with the Minutemen, I could have left the railroad alive and not realize I had to fuck up the challenge. But oh well, that's something for future me to consider. And you know, made a quick save just in case I failed this, luckily I didn't. <laughs> I got him to give me the code to minimize casualties. Which I did. Thinking back, I probably shouldn't have. As I said, too many innocent children, too many innocent people. They all need a burn. And I went to the terminal, activated the evacuation sequence, and some other things. And then afterwards, we went deeper into the Institute. I believe we went to the reactor next. I really don't remember, nor do I care. Well done, Once we got the reactor, I placed a charge on it, went back, and talked down to Max, which I was probably teleported back to a safe distance after talking to Dr. Ingram regarding this synth called Sean. I later told him there was Sean was a synth. Proct Ingram agreed he should die. And then I took Sean with me. Just because I wanted to see if that was still possible. For some reason it is. You can say you want to kill Sean, leave him here, he isn't synth. Proct Ingram go, oh he's a synth, he should die. And then allows you to return home with him. I don't know why, but you know what? <laughs> I agreed with the little shit just because I also remembered you can get the Wazer rifle. Is that what it was called? That or some other gun, which allows with unlimited ammo capacity. Not useful for me, but I thought it was interesting to get. I don't know why, but I expected to keep playing after this run. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I think about it. Another trip back on Tron. Hmm, probably should have. Oh well. Got teleported for, to a safe distance. Activated the detonator. And then watched the Institute blow up from a far distance. And I did not complete Fallout 4 using only robots. As I was not enough level to hack them and give them commands. And I needed to kill some NPCs.